Okay, stop. Fucking noise. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, oh. are you ready? Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna add something else, but continue. Go ahead. Oh, is it okay if I continue? Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hey Man. I'm Josh. I am Jacob. Hello. Hey, hey man. Hey man. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, well, I mean, I know how you are. Well, let me just get a couple of little business out up front and then we can get into it. Okay. Because I had, or do you want to get into that right now and then we get into business? It's both business technically. So why don't you do your business first and then I'll get into your business. Hey, I'm so excited to announce that on May 8th, Jacob and I are joining the Netflix. No, is no, it May 6th, day eight. May 9th. Oh, we didn't even, couldn't even get this right. Hold on one second. May 9th, May 9th, May 9th. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know this self promotion part is the worst part of my. I, I'm the worst at it. Yeah, but I think I got a May ninth. Jacob and I have been invited to be part of the Netflix is a joke festival. Ooh. We have our own show in Los Angeles at the Bourbon Room. And here's what I'm gonna say to you guys: If you're in Los Angeles, first of all, get the ticket. I, but I don't. I mean, I'm assuming nobody at Netflix listens to this podcast. Probably not. But I, um, they have actively said no to my specials multiple times. Indeed. So why don't we show them that we sell some fucking tickets? Oh, yeah. I would like to sell that place out multiple times. Oh, we're gonna. But I know we got people who listen to the show in Los Angeles a bunch. Actually, it's one of our bigger markets. So if you're listening uh, and you want to get tickets early it certainly wouldn't hurt your boys oh yeah may 9th it's the netflix is a joke it's thursday one night and then we fly out the next day and head to philly so we get yep. one night ready to rock and roll we will sorry I don't, i'm yeah, yeah, yeah we will be at the bourbon room yeah uh, in hollywood on hollywood boulevard yo tell your friends make your friends tell their friends tell your friends friends again tell your parents tell your grandparents Tell tell your husband, tell your wife, tell your side chick, tell somebody you hate. I don't care. Tell everybody. Yeah. We're gonna be in LA May 9th and we're about to we're about to run it wild. Hey, and I'll tell you what, let's rally together as a group and show these fucking people uh that we we got it. That we belong. Oh yeah. Um outside of that, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Uh, we added a sixth show. We started out with three. <laughs> we added a six show this weekend in um, Mohegan Sun. Mohegan Sun. A couple tickets left for December 17th, this Sunday at Nash in Nashville. Um, and then, guys, I would get to stepping on those Phoenix tickets. They're already going super fast. Oh, yeah. Over New Year's Eve, me and Jacob and some very special guests. So with that, and not only that, thank you again so much to everybody who's listening to and watching this podcast. Um, the um, comments are amazing and the, uh, uh, the numbers uh, keep growing every week. So thank you all so much. And, and, and I hear from people all the time about how, um, you know, either it reminds them of a relationship that they had with one of their parents or they wish they had had a relationship like that with one of their parents. Right. And um, that means a lot to me, man. Um, and so thank you all so much. And if you like it, tell a motherfucker. And that's it, man. So uh, I know where you want to start today's podcast. Oh, yeah. Okay. My so, question is, do we show it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I agree. I don't think so. Yeah. So, um, and I'll explain what do we show it means. So as I'm about to leave, or probably, hmm, I don't know, about 30 minutes before I leave for the podcast, I get a text from my dad. And it's just a photo. Okay. And I open it, and it is a photo of him sitting on the toilet. But it's just like, you know, if you're sitting on the toilet, you look down, you see your pants and your underwear. It's just a picture of his underwear with shit everywhere. Yeah. Like, like not just a blowout. This was, this was a full fucking loss of attire. Trusted a fart. Was, and that, was it smart? No. <laughs> it was not. And can I tell you how it led, what led up to it? Sure. I so I was talking to your mom, right? And by the way, can I tell you I sent the picture to your mom too? Why? Okay. 
her response was so amazing. Her response was, please don't send those pictures to me if you would like to continue to have sex with me. Hilarious. Yeah. She was like, I can't unsee the poop in your pants. No, not at all. Yeah. I actually looked at it multiple times. I zoomed in. It made me laugh. Yeah, dude. Listen, it was soupy. What? <laughs> On, on <laughs> white white underwear too. Uh, dude, it wasn't white. No, not the poop. No, the underwear. <laughs> oh, let me get. First of all, let me give a. This was Lululemon underwear. Let oh, me. Oh, you get, just bought those. I know. You just bought those this weekend. Yeah, I know. Let Damn. me give the best endorsement ever for Lululemon underwear. You ready? Yeah, I can't wait. Actually, uh, that was a soupy. Right, that wasn't like a solid. That was soupy sales. Soupy Sales was my nickname in high school. Yeah, Soupy Sales was a real good dude. Did you know that? Yeah, okay. apparently. No, so, wait, was he an actual person? Yeah, he was a comic. Oh, I didn't know that. So it was Soupy, right? It wasn't like a solid... Can I be honest? It yeah. looked like baby poop. Like it was that weird yeah, like was greenish soupy. color. It was goopy. Yeah, it, yeah. Looked, it looked like baby shit. Yeah, so um, let me tell you the best endorsement for Lululemon. And, and by the way, we're available... If you, if for branding, if oh, this, oh yeah, hundred percent, if this strikes your fancy, but that was a soupy, loopy, poopy, poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let me tell you something. If you get the soupy poopies, guess what? It doesn't leak out of the Lululemons. Ooh. It didn't. I'm going to tell you right now. Cause you saw it was sitting in my pants. Yeah. And it was sitting there for a second because I didn't want to take it off when I was sitting down the right, toilet. Right, so right. I waited. It didn't, it, my pants weren't even damp. Oh, it didn't seep through? Didn't seep through. Ooh. That's actually a crazy, so that, if, you get the, if, you, if you get the soupy poopies, Lululemon is for you, everybody. Lululemon's got you covered. Not only do they really feel snug and it almost feels like those, the underwear, and I've said this before about underwear, but I truly believe this. It feels like it gives your dick a little bit of a hug. Oh, nice. I like those underwear. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a dig hug underwear. Um, not only do Lululemon give your dick a hug, but they keep the soupy poopies out of your pants. That's, you should make a jingle about soupy poopies. Uh, listen, by the way, I, I know they want it to sound all perfect and whatever, but as a testimonial, not, those are two good testimonials. A hundred percent. It's a yeah. pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good advertising. I do um, think that you, uh, it was funny that you thought those underwear used to be white. <laughs> well, in that photo, they looked white. Light blue. Oh, light not blue. not anymore. No, no, no. They're, they're light poo now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they went from light blue to light poo. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't a light amount of poo. It was dude. Heavy it was. Poo. Can I tell you? I was I was standing next to Indiana Jones. Wait. So let's break it down. Break it okay. down for me. Like, what were you doing? You said you trusted a fart, but like, what? Get, create a scene for me. Okay. I'm in the living room and I say to your mom, because uh, our handyman's there, because she's helping, he's helping her at the new place for the rest of the day. Right. And I say to her, I go, because he's going up and down the stairs. And I'm like, hey, what bathroom? Because we're moving out of this place into another place here in Vegas. So I say, what bathroom is a good bathroom for me to use that our guy won't be walking back and forth in front of? Because... It's there's it's gonna sound like I'm throwing pennies in the toilet, you know. I know what's coming out. And she was like, You can use a downstairs one. I said, Cool. Two seconds later, she was in there. And I was like, Oh. oh. So I was like, Well, let me just squeeze this out. And too much came out. By the way, I right next to Indiana, Indiana was standing right next to me. How'd he react? He whined. Hilarious. He looked at me. I think he felt bad for me. Yeah, yeah, I think he was saying. Uh, I think he was saying it's okay, buddy. It happens to the best of us. And then I said to your mom, "I said to your mom, I go, babe, you got to get out." She goes, "I'm just going to pee," and I go, "It's an emergency." And I hear her flush and walk right out. She was like, "Whatever." And it was an emergency because you had doo doo in your pants. Let me ask you a question: Is the is it still an emergency? Yeah, because you just have shit sitting in your pants. I mean, but is that an emergency, or is the emergency before? Is that post emergency? Like. Uh, both are emergencies because I don't right. I don't want to just be sitting there with shit in my pants because also had it been longer with who knows if the Lululemons would have held out. The Lululemons held out pretty well, dude, because I was sitting on the toilet. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We, don't, we don't need the first 30 minutes to be soupy poopies, but super funny though, that you were late because you had to shower because you shit yourself. Yeah. yeah. But by the way, can I just say 
I don't know how many parents have a relationship with their kid where if they shit themselves, they send the picture. But you're welcome. Oh, yeah, I laughed. Wait, let me ask I told you, him on what you sent me, and she was like, that's gross. I go, do you want to see it? She was like, no, no, I'm good. Did you say, do you want to see it? Yeah, you know, I want to fuck with her. It's funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I knew are, she was going to say no. I knew what her answer was. I just, you know. Are these pictures that you think I should keep sending? Would you like me to avoid sending that? Uh, this one was good. I feel like it didn't cross a certain line. You did send me one once where that dude got paddled so hard in the ass that he shit himself. Yeah. Um, that might have been too much. Nah, that one was all right. Okay. I mean, like, poop content is poop content, you know, like. Yeah. Whatever. But, you know, there's probably going to be a line eventually. I'll let you know when you get there. Yeah, you. I've sent you a couple videos where you were like, I don't need to see that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you know when you get to the yeah. line. Okay. Good yeah. enough. Good enough. Oh. I, I have a question for you. Okay. Okay. So, we're, we're in Henderson, Nevada. Nevada? Nevada? Nevada. Nevada. And they're building a new hospital right near your... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was driving with your mom today, and I asked her, I go, hey, you want to be the first? Would you, would you think being the first patient in a hospital is good? No. Like, do you know what I mean? There's yeah. got to be a first patient. 100%. And I asked her, I go, because we had completely, she and I had completely different answers. I said, would you want to be the first patient? And she was like, no. Yeah, I said no, too. So she said no. She was like, I'd love to get them, them to get the kinks out and... Bingo. All that stuff. Yeah, 100%. Because look, you, you get all this equipment, you get all this stuff. Obviously, they test it before they send it, all that. But who knows in like, you know, transportation and stuff like that, if there's like, you know, uh, something's loose in the machines or, you know, just there, things happen. When, I... Look, when new places open that haven't experienced, you know, what they're supposed to, you know, be built for, there are some kinks that you have to work out. Restaurants. Yeah, um, but that's why they have soft openings. I'm sure they run the machines and all that shit. Yeah, 100%. But, you know, you just, you never know. I'd like also for the doctors and nurses to know where everything is and not just be there on everybody's first day. Because yeah. if I walk in with a catastrophic injury and people are like, well, <sighs> people are go, okay, get this. And they go, where did we put that again? And nobody knows where anything is. Like, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. assuming they're trained with that. And Probably. Here, can I tell you why I want to be first? Why? Dude, you know when people still like where they work? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That first day enthusiasm. Yeah. Have you ever worked at a restaurant on its first day? On the restaurant's first day? Yeah. No. Dude, best service you're ever going to get. The wait staff is psyched. Everybody's the host and our hostess fucking psyched. Everybody's so friendly and psyched. Now, but have you ever worked at a restaurant on the 5,000th day? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, dude. They want to go home. Everybody wants to go home. So I'm just saying that first day, that new smell, you know, the machines fucking work. Everything's oiled up. Probably the freshest drugs there's, too. Yeah, dude. There's all the linens are fresh. They're new. Doesn't right. That dead person smell yet. No, dead person. Oh boy. Um, I say yes. I say no. I'm first patient in. I say no. I'm with mom. I'm so curious what you all think about this. Um, so, and, and by the way, I, I hope you guys on the, in the YouTube section, you guys know that I comment back immediately. Well, maybe not immediately, but I always comment back uh, as long as we're talking about the podcast that we were shooting this week. But until you, I post the next one, I'm always commenting. So I'm asking you guys, when you listen to this, you want to be first, you want to be in that first day or no. And not only that, even if you're listening and you don't want to comment, just just comment for the algorithm. Yeah. For Al, Gore, Al Gore's rhythm. Also, apologies for anybody also hearing me sniffles and anything like that. Or if you hear me blow my nose, I apologize. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. That's uh, human I, shit. Yeah, I know. But, you know, if they're just listening, then all of a sudden you hear somebody blow a nose, you're like, what the fuck is yeah. that? Yeah. Just giving everybody a heads up. So, you, so, so that's a no for you, huh? I thought maybe Everyone you'd no. go in on me, go with me in the first day. No. I'll drop you off on the first day. You're just going to drop me off? Yeah. Dump it, dump, uh, like a quick dump off, you know? If you, you know, it's crazy. Like if you were, if you were in jail, I've had a lot of criminal talks on these podcasts recently. Have we? Where you, we had one last week where you were like, oh, the father told her daughter he was a wanted fugitive yeah. on his deathbed. Two weeks before that, you talked about if any of us commit a crime, we go on the run. I don't know. I just, really... I've, I've gone back and forth. If I was in there for an extended period of time, like 10 years. Okay. So if I was in jail for an extended period of time. Well, let's start with me and then you tell me. Okay. I go back and forth if I would want any of you to come visit me. Just because I think seeing everybody would make it harder. Yeah. I think I would rather just like 
not have any reminder. Although I, I, oh, I wonder if it's like a beacon of hope to get the pictures or. Yeah. I mean, for me, like, I mean, I would probably say no. And I'd probably just have you guys like write to me. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Because I would be able to still like, you know, conversate and do all that. But yeah, I think seeing you guys would, would make it so much harder. And I would just want to put my head down, endure what I have to endure for however long I've been here and then get out and forget about it. You know? All right. All right tell me what you want to talk about. By the way, St. Louis, what a great weekend. Thank you all. Thank you. And Columbia. Woo. Columbia was a good one. Both great weekends. Thank you guys so much for showing up at these fucking shows and packing them out. Fucking amazing. Absolutely. Loved seeing everybody this weekend. Thank you for buying every last bit of merch I had in St. Louis. Good Lord. Holy moly. I, I've been having such a great time. All right. So, Jacob Wolf, what do you want to talk about today? Um, I, well, I, I, we'll talk about that later. Um, I was so, I was in a, I was in a, I was in the post office. Uh, last week, okay. and I wanted to tell you about this, but we didn't have time, so I want to tell you this week. Um, and this possibly is one of my favorite experiences or things I've witnessed in public ever. Um, I got there like an hour before the post office closed, so the lines to the door, you know. So, and you know that's what I get for going to the post office an hour early or an hour before it closes. And I walked in with probably this like eighty year old gentleman, and right as we walked in, first words out of his mouth are, "Oh, what the fuck?" And I was like. Okay, grandpa's a little angry. He goes, we got everybody on break, just one dude working up front. And he was like, where's everybody else? Like yelling at the front of the line. And we're slowly moving and legit every step he takes, he is complaining about there's not enough workers or his favorite phrase was, what the fuck? Like he said that at least the 30 times for the 30 minutes I was in there. It was awesome. We get close to the front and a woman goes up and she starts, you know, she wants to send, I think her books are in envelopes, right? Yeah. And um, she goes, I just want to send this like a regular mail. And the guy's like, well, you can't because it's a book, not a letter. We have to send this as a package, yada, yada. And, you know, when you get up there and you send a package, they ask you all those questions about what's in the package, if it's this. And he asked, and every answer, every time he asked those questions about different things, she had the same answer every time. And it was, I'm just sending a book. Yeah. And it, the guy was like, ma'am, I just have to ask. Just yeah. click no on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. okay. And then he goes, all right, your total is this. And she goes, actually, I'd like to pay with stamps. And he goes, okay, where are your stamps? She goes, well, I have to buy some stamps first. And by this point, we're at like five minutes that she's been up at the same counter. And he goes, okay. And then he takes out a book of 20 and she goes, cool. And then he uses like 15 out of the 20 to be able to postage the two things she wants to send. And she looks at it and she goes, is this all I have left? Why didn't she just, I don't know. I don't know. And she, and I go, she goes, is this all I have left? He goes, yeah, we use most of them for these. She goes. Well, I mean, I guess I'll just get another book of stamps. Oh, that dude must have been losing his and mind. And when he said that, this dude threw his hands up and just was like, oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. And was like loud. And I'm watching her. I'm laughing because for me, look, man, you show up to the post office an hour before it closes. This is what you get. Yeah. It's the holidays. Like, you know, it is what it is. And I'm sitting there on my phone watching her still. And then all I hear is the old dude behind me go, are we going to clap when it's over? Oh, and, no. and I don't respond or even look over my shoulder. And then he goes, huh? Are we going to clap when it's over? And he got louder. <laughs> I was like, oh, is he talking to me? Did you respond? No, I didn't. I just kept looking at my phone. And then the minute she got, like she left the counter, this dude walked up, hands in the air, like, thank Jesus. Oh my God. Like it, it was so funny to me. I mean, I ha I'm not I'm the old guy sometimes where I'm like, oh, this has got to be the most ridiculous thing. Yeah. But have you ever seen something like that in public of an old person just like mad at everybody else in oh, public? I, I I like is that your foot? Yeah, Sorry about that. I like see, I like the I will tell you one thing that I've always looked forward to about getting older is the old person zero fucks given. Do you know what I mean? Look, you know, my grandfather used to sit at breakfast and or any place you know out to dinner or lunch doesn't matter and like mid order we'd just be looking right at the server and just be like yeah I'd, um, I'll take the Reuben he would just rip ass while ordering food yeah dude your nose is all wet all wet yeah on the top that was the weirdest glistening nose I've ever seen how did that do that? Let me see. 
how did you wipe your nose and get snot all over the top? No, I don't it? think it was snot. It might have been sweat. You sweat out the top of your nose? Yeah, I sweat. I sweat a lot right here and on my upper lip. Why would you be sweating on the top of your nose right now? Mm -hmm. Well, because it was warm right there and it just like was oh, okay. moisture and all you that okay? stuff. Yeah, I'm good. My nose has just been on fire since last night. I um, I I I do want the old guy zero fucks given. Yeah, I, I, and I think that's part of it. You get out in public, and you feel like you can say or does it doesn't. You can just say whatever you want because I remember my grandfather. We're at lunch and we all ordered our food, and in mid order, he was just as he was looking at the server, he just started. And you could see her like, ah, uh, and he was just like, as he was talking and you could see her just like, I don't know how I'm supposed to react to that. And we were all at the table. Like, is, is this happening? Is this okay? And I remember that when the, when she walked away, cause she was like, let me give you a couple minutes. And he's like, no, no, I know what I want. And he finished up and we all handed our menu and uh, we all were just kind of looking at him. And he was like, I'm at an age where I can do that. I'm like, wow, you can eyeball somebody at work as you're asking them to do something for you. And just, just a, and one of those ones that just, you know, seemed to go on forever. Yeah. 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 Just I an, understand that. an effortless. Oh. And it was like you, th you thought it stopped and then it picked back up. Kind I of thought long. it stopped like seven times. It was just the craziest. Yeah, that is nuts. But, but, but I, I feel look, like every year I get older, even though I'm still young, every year I get older, I just give less of a fuck. Yes, but you still are at an age where you definitely give some fucks. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 am, I still give some fucks way less. I can tell I give way less by how gray my hair is. Yeah. I'm not dying it anymore. I just don't. Right. Although, you know, when I do dye my hair, you know why. It, your, your mom likes it more. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. So sorry. That, that, that is truly, she likes, she was like, I like a little salt and pepper, but I don't like it all gray. Right, right, right. And so I, I do it because I, I want her to, you know, still think that I'm attractive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or be attracted to me. So I, I definitely will dye it up some. And that's, like I said, less for me and more for her. Yeah, I understand. Um, but yeah, man, I, I definitely have seen old people give zero fucks. Right. I just talked about shit myself. You did. Very, very um, and may I say... Matter of factly? Uh, you sounded not excited about it, but you didn't sound too bummed out about it. You know, it's funny at my point, at this point in time, it just gives me more content. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> I mean, it really gives us something to talk about. I'm sure we'll discuss it on stage this weekend. Um, I'm assuming it's something that you will not let me forget about. You know? Absolutely not. So, yeah, I think it's content. And, and, and I'm not... Listen, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody, man. You know? 100%. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Yeah. I'm just doing, you know... When things happen in my life, if it's entertaining, I'll probably share it. Yeah, and that's that's good on you. Yeah. You don't take life too seriously. I used to take it too serious. No, no, no. Let me rephrase that. You used to take it more serious than you do now, for sure. I, I want to rephrase all of that. I take what I do very seriously. Mm -hmm. But I am well more... Uh, I, I take what I do very seriously... But I understand the power of balance now. I understand right. how important balance is. Um, and I understand how important balance is if you want to be great at what you do. Right. Absolutely. Um, or you're going to burn out. Right. Without balance, you burn out. And right. so what, I, when you're a young person, the, you don't need the balance. It's pedal to the metal and let's fucking geo go. Yeah, yeah. Facts. But as you get a little older, balance is important because you can look back at a decade and go, I, I didn't live my life at all. Very true. I didn't live. I just did shit, but I didn't live my life. I didn't live. Right. Right. 
You know, one thing I really respect about Chelsea Handler is Chelsea has always worked hard, man. She works hard. Absolutely. But she never forgets to play. That's true. And goes on vacation and hangs out with friends. Mm-hmm. And that that really... Um, she has a good balance between both social and her uh, professional career. I've always been very... I've always been envious of her, even when she was at the very top. Right. And at the top, man, I know it seems different than what you would think, but at the top, the idea of taking time off can be even more scary. Right. Because at the top, you know, ooh, there's somebody just right behind me. Yeah, is waiting to waiting take my spot. for me to take my look, man, and not not that she won't be able to act ever or. But women like um, Jennifer Lawrence, who was in every fucking movie. Right. And crushing it. And yeah. for me, so fucking funny and so fucking talented. She is funny. F- forget that she's a gorgeous. Mm-hmm. She is so good and can do comedy, makes fun of herself, all this shit. I'm sure she knew once she took a little time off, which she did, because eventually you, you get burnt out. You're tired. You need a break. I'm sure she looked at every other actress and this goes for actors too, by the way, more actresses, by the way, Yeah, which is unfortunate, who was like, oh yeah, this person get replaced by this and this person. And I replaced this person. Right. right? But eventually it happens for everybody. So it's scary. And so for, but for Chelsea to have the confidence, yo, I remember dude, we were in Hawaii. And she had gone fucking hard first couple of years. Never, not a day off hard. And we were in Hawaii and she said to me, we were doing some shows over there. And she said to me, we were out on the beach like the day before. She goes, I'm not going back. I go, what? You're never going to, she goes, no, I'm, I'm going to go back, but I'm not going back tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not hosting a show. And I was like, Okay, well, what do you want to do? She goes, you, you host it. And I was like, uh, what? She goes, yeah, 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 you host it. I, she goes, you host it. I'll film something on the beach right now telling everybody that I'm not coming back, but I'm not coming back. You host it. Is that how you got to host the show? Yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth, and this sounds so dumb. I don't even remember hosting it. I don't think... I do. I, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I was allowed to do the monologue is what I think. I don't remember I that. I think there were a bunch of us who did the monologue. And maybe I did host it. Did I host it? I think you did. I think I remember you hosting it. I honestly don't remember. This is going to sound so stupid. And like, oh, you don't do but But I don't remember. I think maybe I did. I think you did. I think I remember you doing it. Yeah. Mom, Mom will remember. I, I forget. But, 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 um, yeah, it was amazing. But I remember that started like just her... Being like, I'm going to take some time off. Right. Which is good. So good, dude. Very good. So good. Um, But yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about old dudes. At the post office. Yeah, yeah. At the post office. And I would say this. I love seeing old people in the wild. It's so funny. Who get to do... Yo, dude, I love seeing old dudes just break out. You know the videos online where you just see an old couple dancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just imagine they're dancing to something like... You know, hundred uh, percent. But I love it, dude. I, 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 I'll tell you what bums me out a little bit about our country as opposed to like Europe or other right. Asia. I feel like we don't respect old people as much as we should. Right, right. I feel that way more now that I'm getting old. Huh? But I will say, man, like old people deserve. Like they've, they, they've done it. They've done their time. Yeah, yeah. dude. And they they have a mile of wisdom underneath their belt. 100%. Yeah. Now, some of them are... I was going to say. Some of them are... Get off my lawn. And also, some of them don't deserve that respect. But, you know, not all old people are the same. That's very true. Yeah. Are you... Is there anything that you are looking forward to in your 30s or 40s or 50s or any... I I, I think I'm with you. I think I'm, I'm, I'm excited. The only thing I'm really excited to about aging is to get to that age to where I'm just like, nah, I've done my time. Fuck off. Yeah. Like I can just, like, I'll just say whatever's in my head, which I think will be fun. What has surprised you as you've gotten older that you, that you didn't 
think was a thing when you were younger. Do you know what I mean? Or who you are or how, like you were like, Oh, I thought I'd be like this when I was 26, not monetary, not job wise, human wise. Are you different at all than you thought you'd be? I don't know. I don't think I ever thought that far in advance. I think I was just really just taking one year at a time. And, and like, obviously I have a thought for what I'm going to look like when I'm 30, which is like, oh, look like, yeah, or not look like, but like where I'll be and what I'll be doing and yeah. you know, what my life will look like. But in the twenties, I don't really think about that. I did have an image of what I would look like when I was the age I am now. Wait, wait, say that again. I did. Well, like in my thirties, I did mentally picture what I would look like. I never kind of projected what I would be doing because I have, you have sweat on your nose again. Again? Or whatever that is. Yeah. Wrong side. There you go. Um, oh, yeah, it was sweaty. Yeah, dude. You, you, like the nose sweater is so. I'm yeah, not, I don't, I don't know what's going on with my body. Not just nose sweating, but like. Like perspiration, like a lot. Yeah, a significant amount of nose sweat. Yeah, my body. The last night, for some reason, just like flipped a switch. Stomach was in a little pain. It wasn't even that bad. It was just more like gas, gaseous, mm-hmm. ga, ga, gaseous, 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 was gaseous. Right? And then my yeah, I don't know. Yeah, gaseous. And then gaseous. My, my, gaseous was a guy in Gladiator. Yep. Or is that Cassius? I know. What well, definitely wasn't gaseous. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, last, gaseous. Last night we got to that Illuminarium thing. And I literally walked into that room and I sneezed like 12 times. And I've, I've been sneezing since last night. With so, no sweats? With no sweats. Well, when I sneeze 18 times in a row, it's my body starts sweating because I get hot because I'm fucking yeah. doing whatever. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I apologize. I'm just. Uh, you don't have to apologize, dude. My body is feeling a little weird. Yeah. I mean, did you, did you, were you a grown human male who pooped himself in his living room? No. You're doing all right. Yeah, I'm definitely doing better than you. I threw those underwear away, by the way. I hope you did. <laughs> what, 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 did you think I thought you threw them in the laundry machine? Yeah, man. Yeah, they no. were new. They were new Lululemon. Yeah, and they had some new doo-doo lemons in it, too. <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. You, wait, wait. Automatic? I, yeah, I threw away my shoes when I stepped in shit, and you yelled at me. Yeah, because that, you can, it's, on, it's not where your body parts are. Like, you wash the shit stained underwear. It's possible there's still shit particles in the underwear wherever all the other shit is. Bottom of the shoe, it's not touching any parts of your body. And it walks through my house. It's it's on the floor. I track it around. Right, but you pick it up, you bring it inside, you go to the either the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink. You don't think a washing machine gets all the poop particles out? I don't know. Well, also you'd have to wash it by itself too because you can't wash it with anything else. That's a good point. Because then everything else would be. Shit stained or that's shit smelt. Right. I could wash it with Indiana stuff. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I could wash it with Yeah. That. Yo, he at the new house. Guys, we moved into a we're moving into a new place. He loves it. Loves it. Yo, at the top of the fucking mountain where we're at. Um, and guys, I'm gonna tell you right now. we we are in a we're in a fancy neighborhood. There's some rich people around us, boy. I mean. But at the top of this, some really rich people around you. Fucking crazy, yeah. We we are definitely the food stamp group in that neighborhood. Uh, that, uh, might, that, might be, that might be accurate. Well, no, hundred percent accurate in that. Well, neighborhood. so you know how there's houses on both sides of the street. Yeah, the people across from you probably are a little more food stampy because you look at the size of the difference in the house, dude. Their houses hang over the cliff. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they have the whole side of their house looks over the fucking valley. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, I take that back. Yeah, dude, definitely, it's their houses are gorgeous, crazy. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, at the top of that mountain, they have those fucking sheep with the horns, the big horn sheep, the ones you think you can fight. This is what I'm saying. Indiana and I are gonna go up. Indiana could fight one. You couldn't. Indiana would get knocked out. Oh, 100 percent. So would you. Yeah, but I could get out of the way. He wouldn't. He'd just stand there and take a big shot to the head, that dummy. That's probably true. You know what I mean? Yeah. But who knows? You might see it coming, but just like when I went to go punch you in the face when we sparred, your body might just be like, eh. Yeah, but I see it coming from so far away. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I might even do an Olay. I might. What, what if I jumped over them? I don't think you got that much hops. You don't think so? Nope. 
What if I spread my leg jump? Like can, in dodgeball. Can, can you spread your legs like that? Yeah, of course I can. You saw me do those exercises in the gym. Oh, By the way, Jacob awful. Wolf recorded me in the gym. Okay. He recorded me in the gym. Every now and then, guys, in the gym, I like to make up ex or try to make up exercise. Oh, can I just say something real quick about fitness and health in general? Everybody, I appreciate your emails to me and comments and I, I, what's the secret? How do you stay in shape at your age? But it, it makes me laugh when I hear people say, what's the secret? Hey, everybody. No secrets. You know what the fucking answers are. You know the answers to the test. You can, When you ask, what's the secret? You're expecting me to be like, I found the secret. You eat as much as you want and you never exercise and you sleep 12 hours a day. That's what you want to hear me say. That's not it. That's you know not how it works. You know what the fucking secret is. The secret is no secret. And, but here's what I would say as somebody who used to train people. Stop making yourself feel bad. That you, you come up with some realistic expectations between. It's not even baby steps. Just find the expectations between what I want to look like, what I'm willing to sacrifice, and what I realistically know that I will do as a human. Right. Right. When people are like, when I see people like, I'm, you know what, starting January 1st, I'm going to, I'm doing the gym six days a week. I'm going to do ice baths. I'm, I'm only eating two meals. No. Nope. You're changing your life too drastically. It's never going to stick. That's why I said baby steps. It's just about realistic. And you're right. Yeah. It's real. Just guys, realistic. And here's the realistic. Moderation, man. Mm -hmm. Look, if you want the easy one, no sugar. You know that. No booze. You know that. And just you got to go way lower on the carbs, especially mm -hmm. the bad ones, the breads and all that stuff. Yep. No sugar. None of that shit, man. No soda. And go to the gym. Guys, it's no, it's no, it's no it calories in, calories out. I know people are like, maybe you got to mm, calories in, calories out and yeah. make sure the calories are good. That's it. That's all. That's the end. Healthy lifestyle, healthy diet. But be realistic with yourself. What I would say to you, here's the secret. You want to know the real secret? Stop making promises to yourself that you break. Yeah. Because every time you break a promise to yourself subconsciously, you're like, look at this piece of shit. Right. Because think about it. If if there was a friend of yours who constantly broke their promises to you, you would not want to hang out with that person. Facts. That same goes for when you're making promises to yourself. Right. So don't continue to make promises that you know you're going to break. Make the promises to yourself that you know you can keep mm -hmm. and build from there. I, baby steps, I think, is probably the right move for yeah. most people. And, and, and also what you're saying is like real, stop setting unrealistic expectations You're not going to look like The Rock. No. You know why you're not, not going to The Rock? You don't have a chef. You don't have the money to have the supplements Supplements <laughs> that he has. Supplements, trainers. You don't have the trainers. You don't have a gym at your house that you built specifically for you. Yep. Your job is not to be in shape. Your job is not that. So you're not going to look like Jake Gyllenhaal when he was in Southpaw. Guess who else doesn't look like that? Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yep. Right? Facts. So, guys, you're not going to look like Thor. You're not going to look like Iron Man. You're going to look like Jim from Indiana. I mean, I don't think it's What's gonna, the best Jim from Indiana you want to be? I don't think it's going to be that hard to look like Robert Downey Jr., though. He's not ripped, is he? He was. When he was younger? He, dude, he was spinning his blood. He was doing all that shit. He was what? Oh, spinning his blood. I thought you said spitting in his blood. I was like, how is yeah, that possible? Dude, that, that was some Charlie Sheen shit. Mm -hmm. He was spinning. Yeah, dude. Look, look, man. They all, right? Right. That's, you think Chris Evans is natural? On the Captain America? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Yo, so Britney Spears' family is reuniting because her dad, Jamie, got his leg amputated. And Britney's back in the fold and the family's getting back together. I just want to say this to all you free Britney people. And I said this before and I'll say it again. I said it before when you were free Britney-ing free Britney her. And I'll say it now. How's that feel? How's that big? That dude's such an asshole for keeping her under lock and chain. How's that looking right now with every fucking weird knife dance she puts out? How, how's that looking? It just goes to show. And by the way, I'm not saying this dude is a is a innocent. But it just goes to show, guys, 
You don't know shit about the people. You don't know shit. I, mean, I include myself. You, there are things that people... You know, he was trying to shelter her from exactly this. He knew who the fucking knife wielding. I'm not look, I don't know if she's popping pills. I don't know what that is. But look, man, he knew what was happening. He was protecting her from her and from you. Free Britney, my ass. Look, there's no doubt that this dude did not treat her well. There's no doubt that he definitely profited from her. And there's no doubt she, she probably felt like she was kept under lock and key. But there's also no doubt that she is fucking mentally ill. And there is no doubt that she needs some fucking supervision, dude. If for nothing else to tell her, stop posting those dancing videos. Good God. Your children are going to see those if they haven't seen them already. I, I mean... You say whatever you want for K-Fed. And by the way, the size of that dude, it's a good thing they just call him Fed. Federline isn't his last name. He's definitely K-Fed because he keeps Fed. K this dude, he's turned out to be the best option for the kids. Who would have fucking saw that coming? Huh? Who would have saw that coming? All I'm saying is, everybody, and I'm happy that the Spears family is reuniting and but maybe we can all just realize you know as much about public people as they are willing to show you. And zero people show you everything. Zero, zero, zero. And there, yo, there are some people that, that you like that I promise you, if you knew one or two things about them, you'd be like, what the fuck? I, oh, I thought they were Spider-Man. I'm not saying one of those dudes, but you know what I mean? You just don't know. And so, like, I think it's important, man, as the Twitter mob or whatever, you know, gets their tiki torches and marches, just slow your roll on the, on the public pitchforks, on, on vilifying people. Every person you know is a shade of gray. Every single fucking one has something that you like and something that you don't like. Important things. And if you like every single thing about somebody at 100%, that's called a cult. That's dangerous shit, right? All I'm saying is, guys, just hold off on vilifying or what's the opposite? Angelifying? What's a what would it be? What would it be? You know what I'm talking about? De de deifying somebody. Because nobody can live up to either one. You know, the you know the thing that was great about the Sopranos is here's a, a fucking horrible person. He he murders people. He steals from people. He he. he he, he treats people, he leans on people, takes money from them. But they showed him having marital problems, having kids who were wise asses to him, having mental health issues, and they humanized. And it showed you, oh, fuck. This person, as bad as he is, is also a person. And this is what I would say. You you never know. You never know. I, I, I'm glad Brittany is free or whatever, but I wish she wasn't so free. I can't. You, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, get some nose sweat. Oh, I do. I, I am. Do you want to stop? We can stop. I don't know. You tell me. I just feel like I'm distracting. Like, You're not distracting, but I want you to be comfortable. We can <sighs> completely stop. You want to stop? Let's stop. Kind of. I just, I, I apologize to everybody. Don't apologize. Well, well but you know, I, I just, yeah. I just feel bad, you know? Um, I apologize to everybody. This was supposed to have, you know, m more laughs, more of us talking, less of me blowing my nose and having my mic muted. I, I apologize. It just, uh, something happened last night and it just flipped a switch in my, in my body. And I apologize for, uh, for cutting this short, ladies and gentlemen.
Um, yeah, dude, listen, let me tell you something right now. Just feeling a little, uh, little uncomfortable in the facial region. Yeah, let me tell you something um, right now. You owe zero people apologies. I know. I, I know I don't owe it to anybody, but I think it's courteous and it's nice, Very nice still, yeah. you know, com, common decency to, you know, because we didn't get to give them their full, uh, full hour of, you know, of what our fun is. Totally. So, and, and I would just say to you, you put out hours and hours of free content every month. And so if this, if this month is 15 minutes light on the hours and hours of free content, I think people are going to be okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, do you want to do 10 more minutes of just like anything you want to talk to them about, or do you want to just cut it right here? Um, I will just say, I mean, you don't have to chime in on this, but I, let me just say this. Okay. I mean, if I'm, do you need me for, cause I might just go wash. No. Okay. I'd go wash up. Um, I love you guys. I'm so sorry again. I know I don't owe it, but for me, it's just what I think I should owe. Um, thank you guys as always. Um, tell someone you love them. Go do something nice for them. Go listen to this guy. Love you all. Next week, I will not be like this. I promise. Guys, by the way, I just also saw that Tom Brady's getting roasted uh, during the Netflix as a joke weekend. And fucking straight up Jeff Ross is hosting it. Ugh. Listen, guys. Um, I'm going to sign off for Jakey, but we love you. Thank you guys so much for everything. Truly grateful for everything that's happening in my life right now. Truly, truly, truly. And I have you guys to thank for it. I'm going to keep my ticket prices low. Um, so everybody can still come out to the shows. Um, trying to keep everything Low, 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 so we can keep everybody. I know this next year coming up might be tough for people. Um, and so we are keeping our prices low and trying to make it accessible for everybody who um, wants to come out to a show. We love you. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. I could list them all for you, but I don't have. Oh, January 29th, 28th and 29th, that last weekend of January, shooting my special in Vancouver. So if you want to get tickets to that, and you're in Vancouver or in Canada or in Seattle or fucking anywhere and you want to fly in, those tickets are going to go super fast. I'm, I'm filming it at a smaller place. I, I opted against a theater. Mostly because I think I'm just a better comic in those comedy clubs. I'm a better comic. And we, what we've seen now through specials is it doesn't have to be in a huge theater anymore. And I want to... I want to feel the most comfortable and I'm the most comfortable when I feel like I'm having a conversation with the audience. And that is way easier for me to have when I'm in a smaller place. So the tickets will absolutely sell out way in advance. So if you want to come to that special, the taping will be on Saturday night. I'll probably do it Friday night. Um, because I don't want to tell my manager, but I might tape two separate. One hour north, one hour south. Anyways, come through. Uh, rest everything, comedianjoshwolf.com. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Later. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know me, I have an ADHD brain, I'm fidgety, that's just kind of the person I am. So I know if I'm on stage with no hat on, I'm going to be running my hand through my hair every 37 seconds. And that's going to get distracting. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think you should run it through that luscious hair. People are going to like that. Yeah, but I, I, And then slow-mo it. But it's going to bug me knowing I'm doing it every 35 seconds. You should run your hand through your hair in slow motion. And then uh, I'll have the DJ play. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. So we, you are a Sasquatch guy. I'm a cryptid guy, or a cryptoid guy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The cryptids and cryptoids. I don't think the Sasquatch is technically. Oh no. Technically a cryptid. You know what I'm talking about. Though. I don't like, know what a cryptid is. So a cryptid is like a skinwalker or a mothman or the chupacabra or legend, mythical. Right. But they're called cryptids. Okay. So. For me, I'm a big cryptic guy. You know why? Because why the fuck not? I'm in a shirt that says, let's summon demons. 
um, and it's got pentagrams all over it. Yeah, that's and I'm also in a Winnie the Pooh uh, headband. Winnie the Pooh, 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 Winnie the Pooh.